Hello and welcome back to Leilani Electronics. Before we get into this uh, next video, make sure you go to the website www.leilanielectronics.com. Print out this schematic with this circuit right here. There's tons of other stuff on there you may like. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel so you get updates on more videos um, and more circuits. Uh, th this circuit right here I have is my group of function generators. I have four different circuits. Um, I just put them all on one board. Um, so when I get the PCB, I'll solder it up, it'll be a lot smaller. But um, this is four separate circuits. I just put them all on one board, you know, so you can have multiple outputs. You know, you have a square wave, sine wave, triangle wave, and um, integer if i'm pronouncing that right i have a hard time saying it but an integer so um the first group uses the uh lm556 which i have a couple of those they're, they're hard to find online but i'm pretty sure they're out there i just had a couple laying around from years ago uh the second one is the 555 um you could generate a square wave a triangle wave and a sine wave from a um, regular 555 chip the third one is the XR-2206. The fourth one is the ICL-8038. Um, so let me let me just get right into it. Uh, again, go to the website, print this out. Uh, you can build it, you know, with just, you know, your regular standard caps and resistors. And uh, these chips you can get. I uh, got them on Mauser, DigiKey, Jam, Jamco, um, but the 556, I'm having a hard time tracking those down. Um, so, I have a little uh, a he header pin right here for my uh, oscilloscope to, um, you know, connect so we can get the outputs. Now, on the board, the PCB, it'll be a selector switch. You just turn it like a dial to get you know waveform one two three four five six or whatever okay so the first one uh, i got my cheat sheet here um the first pin is the lm550 556 it's giving us a six volt peak to peak square wave and these are all um per the data sheet so they're they're pretty accurate this is what you know you go to the data sheet, it's tell you what you're going to get on the output. And it's kind of close to what I'm getting, you know, on the, the board here. So, the oscilloscope here, pin 1, is a 6-volt peak-to-peak square wave. And we can adjust it. Like this right here. See that? Okay, pin 2 should give us a... 2.2 volt peak to peak triangle wave. So move that over there. I'm just going to change my scope to uh, one volt so we can get that uh, bigger. Okay, we can adjust that also. Okay, our third pin is the 555, should give us a 1.5 volt square wave. The next one is a five volt integer. The next one should give us a 1.5 volt peak to peak triangle wave. There we go. Now we're going over to the uh, XR2206. It says this should be a eight volt peak to peak square wave. Oh, I'm sorry. We're still on the 555. This is our sine wave from the 555. I'm sorry. The 555 can give you four four waveforms. Okay, now we go over to the XR2206. There it is. Our 8-volt peak-to-peak uh, square wave. See, I make that. There you go. Okay, the next one is a 2-volt peak-to-peak sine wave or triangle wave. 
Okay, now the XR 2206 has a switch that you could toggle to make this output a sine wave or a triangle wave. See, it went to a triangle, and there's a sine, and you can adjust it. Okay, our third output. What well, I was our uh, that was our actually our second output for the XR 2206. That gives you three outputs: square, sine, and triangle. But the switch, you have to toggle the switch to get the triangle or the sine because it only has two outputs. Now we go to the ICL 8038, which should be a two two point eight or three the three volt peak to peak sine wave. There it is. So let me take this back down to one volt so we can get a bigger. Uh, there, oh, I'm sorry. We gotta make it the scale larger. There we go. Now we're going to the next one. Said this is a three volt um, peak to peak. Um, I have a question mark there. So okay, square wave. There we go. And then the fourth one is a triangle wave. There we go. And we can adjust all these, the outputs. Okay, so there you have it, function generators. If you need one, go to the website, print the schematic out. You can build it. Like I said, I, there's four different chips. I just put them all, all on one board. So when I order a board and I need it for audio or to test out uh, my other oscilloscope that I'm working on, um, uh, it's like a 30 by 60 RGB dot matrix oscilloscope that I'm working on. So I'm going to test it with these... Uh, function generators uh, we got 11 total outputs using three chips square sine triangle integer and um, hope you like it hope you can use this circuit go to the website again leilanielectronics.com print it out um, like like this video go check out some other ones and appreciate your time thank you